Right, we've had one of our viewers on YouTube send a request wanting to know how to remove this strip here. So this is the strip on the back of a Range Rover Evoque that just goes along here. It does contain underneath, if you look, the license plate lamps and also on our car we've got the reversing camera fitted. So it does contain that and it's the strip that goes all along. So we'll try and help him out and show how to change it. So basically you need to open your car and this is where I'm going to pass over to Tom. Okay. And then what we need to do is remove this inner panel. So this inner panel, it starts here and goes round, but basically it's this big inner panel here. So what we'll do is we'll start, we've got this sort of plastic wedge tool here, and basically this is poppered on. So if we start in this back corner here, and we'll see if without marking the plastic, we can, whoop, we're not doing a good start here, we can get in, that's it. You've got to start. It's held on with a series of poppers. Okay, I'll show you them when we're a little further on. But we'll work along. Okay, well, I'm working along the back. That's it. And then on the front. Okay, right, so you got, on the very front, you've got two clips here. One of them's come off, we'll fit that back on. Okay, but you've got these metal spring clips. In the middle you've got these two clips that poke up and they're located so when you reposition it makes sure these two go in first and then you've got these series of docking stations here and what I can only best describe as nipples on the inside here so you can see you've got these little ball it's basically a ball and socket type joint so you've got a series of these and this just poppers on but we'll show you how to just push that back on at the end of the video okay so now we've got a long reach socket, it's 10 millimeter. Okay, and there's four screws we've got to undo along the inside. So basically, if you follow the line of the, of the, which starts here, you look on the outside, and you follow it along, you'll get to this hole here. If I shine the camera in, hopefully you can see the nut here. Okay, so we've got a little nut here that we need to, oh, I can't see. Okay, that we need to take out. Right, now there's four of these nuts along along the way here. We've got one here. Okay, key. Okay, so I'll just show you the. So it's these 10 millimeter nuts with the built-in sort of washer and then nylock nuts as well. So they're all the same. So the second one you can see a lot easier here. The, it's more exposed. Spin until they come off. You'll think you'll think you've undone it enough, and then because the nylock comes out, but do a few more turns after it gets easy. That's it. All right, and then again, the fourth one, like the first one, is up in this recess. Now, interesting point to note while we're doing this is that the Evoque apparently is one of the first cars with an all plastic tailgate. So the whole of the tailgate, all this inside framework is made from from plastic. So. Tom was worried if he left it out in the desert and the sun in Saudi or something you'd come back to a melted tailgate. But I'm sure they've got that sorted. Right then, so what we now have to do is move the torch. Okay, so basically we've undone the four screws in here. But at the end section here and here, they got some spring clips. So as you start to pull from the end, okay, just pull it out, okay, and you'll see these clips here. Can you zoom in on that one? Okay, and the, the same at the other side. Just, right, okay, so that's it. Okay, now we've got two connections in here on this car, so not all cars have the camera fitted. So we've got the camera here, and we've got two license plate um, lights. You've also got the main opening and closing button, uh, the release switch for the tailgate. So let's start with the camera one. So if you push this down here, push the tab down on the connector, 
you can release that. Now it threads through one and two. So when you're putting it back together, make sure you thread it under these two little tunnels here. Okay. This second one we need to release. Okay. Now the, the release is actually around the back. It's a bit of a pain, but I'll show you. Okay. So this is what you've got to, you've just got to push, push this little release tab down here. Okay. Now with those two released, okay, this is what you get, okay? So you've got the LED, these are standard on, on all the Evokes, you've got the LED illumination panels. If, if you need to change these, um, they do just sort of push out. Um, I don't think you'd better do it from outside. You've got a little, I don't know if you can see down in there, Tom, you've got that little lever there that if you push that down and press it out, get a screwdriver and do that. Hold on, I might have a key here. Alright, here we go, let's try it with a key, Tom. Alright, so if you push down on that, that's it. Push that down. You can release the illumination panel. If I show you then, there's a release. Oops, sorry. There's a fairly tight string on this. So I'll press down on the back there. There's a little tab there you need to press down to release that. And that's the LED number plate assembly there. Um, the camera is fit in with these two Phillips drivers here. Okay. Um, the reassembly is basically the reverse. Um, just on that plastic pan on the boot, you just line up the two and then pop her in the rest. And uh, that's the job done.